Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to today's webinar. Uh, my name is Rachel Klein, and I will be your presenter um, for the next 20 minutes. Uh, today, we are going to be talking about um, three specific buttons in the uh, membership module. Uh, we're going to just look over those three things. There's three buttons on the family side in the people uh, section, and there's also the same three buttons, but they're over on the in individual side in people. So we're going to chat about those today, and I'm going to show you how those quick buttons can help you um, get some information out of the program real easy and really fast. But before we do that, I want you to know that Kellyanne is listening in with me, and she will be answering any questions you might have. Um, so if you come across something or you want me to um, go back over it or you've thought of a question and you'd like me to go over, feel free to type that in in the question section on your GoToWebinar toolbar, and Kellyanne can uh, type you up an answer, um, or I might even read it aloud if I think it might apply to um, some other people who might be curious about the same question. Also, this is recorded, um, so it'll be recorded, cleaned up, and then put up on our website at churchwindows.com, so if you think this information uh, might be beneficial to somebody else, um, they can head out to our website and watch it. Also, the outline that I'm following uh, is from one of our workbooks. It's from the Membership 101 workbook. So if you would like to have this information uh, printed out, hard copy, uh, you can go out to churchwindows.com and purchase the Membership 101 workbook. Um, you have an option to download it. Um, that's cheaper, or you have the option to actually order it from us. We will print it out put it in a binder ready format and mail it out to you. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but two, two ways for you to be able to get uh, the information that I'm going to cover today in a workbook format. <clears throat> so let me point out to our version today that we're going to be working in is 21.18.0. Um, we are in the process of slowly releasing version 21, so if you don't have it yet, that's okay. Um, it could be that you just haven't received it yet. Uh, we're putting it out in in small groups. That way we don't get bogged down if we have a lot of installer support calls with the new versions. Uh, we don't want to wait. You wait longer to get an answer. So if you haven't gotten version 21 yet, keep your eye out in your emails. You should be getting an email from us here uh, in the near future, and you can get it downloaded and installed so you're up to date. All right, so let's jump into our topic. I went ahead and opened up membership, and now I'm going to go ahead and click on the people button right here in the middle. So it will take me to my first record that I have here in people. Uh, today we're going to be working on um, Nina's record. Um, she's going to be our example um, when I go through and show you these three specific buttons that we're going to be talking about. Those three buttons are listed right up here across the top. You have this little printer icon. You also have this maps, uh, like a pin drop icon. And then you also have this. It's our copy to clipboard. So you have three buttons there on the left on the family record, like I mentioned earlier. And then you also have three buttons over here to the right that are specific for the individual record. OK, so when you come into people, you're going to have your family record over here on the left side and your individual record over here on the right. Okay, so these buttons are only going to pertain to your individual information and these buttons are going to pertain to your family information on the left. Go ahead and erase my highlighter here. All right, so the first button I want to talk about with you is this printer button. Um, this is a quick way to come into the program and get a report on Nina, okay, on her family information. So if I come up here and say I need to uh, get a report on Nina, I need to see everything that I have entered for her family record, and I need to get it to her to look through an update. Say maybe she's moving and I need a new address, so I want to print out everything I have. She can look through it, get it updated, give it back to me so then I can come update her record in church windows. So I'll just go to her record, I'll hit my printer icon, and then I can click on report. And if you're familiar with the reports in church windows, this screen is going to look very, very familiar to step two of our reporting windows. 
So on step two, top left, um, you have your different report options. Directory and directory exports are going to be grayed out because you're running a report for just one person here. If you do need a directory, go through reports like normal. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose all information. And then in my Dropbox, I do have two different layouts I can choose from. Uh, Multi-column, because this is just one person, I don't recommend using. I would go with just your basic all information uh, template report that we already have in here for you. You also have some options over here. Um, reporting options tab, grouping page break, all information. Check those out if you want to get um, specific things set for this report for Nina. Um, but if I go ahead and hit print, you'll be able to see a preview of, of just information on Nina's family record. Okay, so we're going to see um, her name, her individual number, mailing code, phone number, things like that. You can definitely come in and customize this report by going into select fields, just like you would any other layout that you were working with. Um, if you need to adjust the columns, you can definitely do that here. Now let's also say you need to print a label for Nina. Maybe you have something from the pastor that you've, you've been given and you need to pop it out in the mail for Nina right away. A quick way to do that is to come to her family record, hit your printer icon, go to label. It's going to open up a very similar screen to step two of labels. You're going to choose your label layout, your 5160, and then you're simply going to hit print and it's going to give you her information on a label. All right, now let's say, for example, you have um, a couple half sheets of labels laying around that you need to use up. So you were hoping to use one of, of those leftover label sheets to get a label out for Nina. You can easily do that by adjusting your start position. Say you have a, a label that needs used up that's in the, I don't know, the fourth spot on your label sheet. Change your start position to four, hit print, and then it's going to scooch it down to fill um, the label that you need used. All right, so that's labels. Now I do want to show you the emailing feature. So let's say we need to send Nina an email. If that's the case, you can come over here on her individual record, hit the little printer icon, and you now have an email option. So if I choose the email option here, it's going to take me up to my step two screen if I were to go through reports and then emailing. It's only going to show me Nina because I'm on her record. And then I would simply need to pick my email settings. And we do have web um, webinars we've previously previously done, excuse me, on setting up email. So if that's something you're wanting information on, head out to our website and you can get lots of good information on setting up church windows to email for you. You would come down here and create your custom email message, give it a subject, the message that you need, and hit send. So that's a quick way to shoot out just one email for one person. All right, the next thing I want to show you is the map uh, button that we have. This is a really, really nice feature that I think a lot of people I talk to aren't aware of. Um, let me go ahead and hit the little map button here. And it's going to bring me up some address information. So the from address that you're going to see on the left, this is your church address. So this feature is really, really handy if you have uh, a deacon or an elder or your pastor or somebody in your church needs driving directions to a specific person's address. Okay, so the left is going to be the address of the church. This is going to the, be the address that was put in in your um, your system information when you first started using church windows. It's going to automatically pull that address and fill it in here as your from address. If you look over to the right in the to address, this is Nina's address. Okay, so it's going to automatically look at her record because we are on Nina's record and fill in her home address or whatever her current address is as the to location. Okay, now let's say, for example, um, the pastor is coming from someone else or it's coming from the hospital to go visit Nina. If that's the case, you can come down here, hit the other button and put out, put in the address that they're currently in and you can get driving directions or a map that way. 
Okay, so you don't always have to use the church's address if that's not where they're coming from. But let me go ahead and hit the Get Map button down here at the bottom right. And this is going to show you just the location of Nina's address. So this is a quick way to see, you know, what part of town does someone live in or what are they close to, things like that. Now you can also hit the Get Directions button. And that takes you out to Google Maps as well. But this is actually going to give you the driving directions on how to get to um, Nina's address. Now, I know most people have smartphones, and I understand most people have Google Maps or Siri or whomever on their phone that gives them their driving directions, or they have it in their car for that, for that matter. But this is nice to have in the program because you can see real easy where someone lives, where their address is, what part of town, even what state, if you need to see what part of the state they're living in, if they're a visitor. Um, but this also gives you a quick idea, yep, this is going to take us six minutes to get there from the church. So it's a really, really handy tool. All right, so that is the map feature. Now you also have a map feature for the individual. Now keep in mind, since Nina is the only person in this family, the address on the right-hand side for the individual will be the same as what it is for the family. An example of when you would use this map feature on the right for an individual would be if the individual's address was different than the family's address on the left. So for example, you do have an address, phones, emails tab here on the right for the individual. This could be helpful if there is a spouse that's in a nursing home or lives somewhere else um, in the hospital currently. This could also be helpful if, say, for example, you have a kid who's off in college um, and you want to get driving directions or look up a map for that specific person. You'd have to go to the right side of the screen on their individual record and hit the map button there. All right, so the last thing I want to cover is the um, copy to clipboard feature. Um, this is really slick. It's this little button here that has the two sheets of paper. All this button does is grab the mailing label and the address information and copies it to the clipboard so you can then paste it somewhere else. Okay, so let me hit this copy to clipboard button. Nothing will happen. You'll see the button does indent a little bit and puts the dotted box around. That's the way you know you've clicked it. But then if I come down in here, and I'm going to go into Notepad so I can show you what it will do. If I open Notepad, I simply do a right click and a paste. And it's going to pop the address along with the mailing label right in here. Okay, so this could be really handy if you have another program where you need to put someone's name and address information in quickly. You can put it into anywhere. You can do a right click and right click and a paste, excuse me, and it'll take that information and allow you to put it somewhere else. All right, so that is the copy to clipboard button. Same thing, you have that option over here on the right if there is an individual in the family that has a different address and you need to grab that information. All right, guys, that covers those three buttons I was going to discuss with you today. I'm going to go look at my questions and see if there's anything coming in that I can help Kellyanne get answered. Honestly, guys, it's pretty straightforward. It's one of those things where... Not a lot of people see those buttons up there or they don't know what they do, um, but, but once you click them, it's, it's pretty easy to figure out how to utilize them. And once you start using them, I really think it will save you some time. But like I said, you have questions, go over on your GoToWebinar toolbar, expand that section. Feel free to type any of those questions in, we'll get you an answer. Um, if you don't have any questions, that's fine too, just feel uh, feel free to sign out of the webinar at any time. Cheryl is asking if there is a mobile phone number or other information on the individual, can it be copied to clipboard? Um, Cheryl, there's not an option for that now. The copy to clipboard is just going to do that mailing label and their current address information, um, but I can put it in as a suggestion for you, definitely. 
Susan's asking, is there a way to cut and paste all information from members and visitors to Word or Publisher for directory purposes? Um, Susan, there is not a, uh, um, a copy to clipboard option for that, but you can definitely get that through reports and export the data that way. Um, if you need help with that, there's uh, webinars and documents on our website or call the support line um, and we can get a technician to, to help you do that. Kelly says, wow, these buttons seem cool. Can't wait to start using them. That's great, Kelly. I mean, they're they're pretty handy. Once you know they're there, they're, they're pretty slick. Um, someone's asking, when printing a label, how do you count in a column other than the first one? I think you might be referring to um, the start position. Uh, that box here, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but you would just have to count on your sheet of labels that you're looking at where you have some labels left over that you want to use up. You're just going to have to count down and, and figure out where that is. Most people I talk to use a 5160 label, um, so that's going to be three across, ten down. But of course, if you're using something different, then, then, then that three across, ten down isn't going to work for you. You just have to count on your sheet. Can the church windows icon be put on a smartphone, thinking that the addresses might be useful to the priest while he is out of the church and needs a map? Um, I, I hear your question. We do have um, church windows web that can be accessed anywhere you have church windows access. So if that is something um, you would be interested in, please feel free to call our support line and speak with one of the ladies that answer the phone. Um, they would be able to give you more information about church windows web and also give you pricing for that as well. All right, I see a couple questions about label positioning. Um, Maggie's saying our label position goes one, two, three across the top, then four, five, six on the second line. Um, that's fine. That's that's perfectly fine. Um, most of our label layouts are going to print down the first column and then down the second column and down the third column. If if your label position goes the other way, that's that's totally fine. You still just have to count to the right spot. Um, if you have specific questions about start positions, call us and we can help you. We can definitely help you figure out where to get the, the right spot on your label sheet. So Maggie, if you go into Edit Label, right in here, if you click on your oops, Label Layout, yeah, I have to remind myself where it is now, Maggie. <laughs> yeah, so right here, if you go into your Label Layout, Maggie, you hit Edit, you open the Detail Tasks. Right here is where you tell church windows if you want the labels to print down, then across, or across, then down. All right, guys, we are right at the 20-minute mark. If you have any questions specifically to the, the printer icon, the map icon, or the copy to clipboard um, icon, please feel free to type those in real quick, and I'll get you an answer. But if, you, if you've gotten the information that you, you were looking for when you signed up for the webinar today, please feel free to sign out. That, that is fine. All right, nothing else is coming in. I'm going to go ahead and close the webinar. I hope you guys learned something new today that will help make your job a little bit easier. Um, like I said, check out churchwindows.com for lots of recorded videos and documentation. Um, and as always, you can give us a call on our support line or email us at support at churchwindows.com, and we can help you out that way. Have a great day, guys.